the really simple TLDR on it is there's 450 coins minted in a day. So Peter, you've got one of the most interesting thought experiments in the entire Bitcoin space. I think a lot of people just listen to the end game or the end number of your hypothetical thought experiment that you put out there. But I had a little bit of a minor epiphany earlier in the week, which is why I reached out to you guys. Let's assume the five-year trend of Bitcoin continues leaving the exchanges. I think you have a really interesting way to think about valuing Bitcoin in a hypothetical world that the world is operating on a Bitcoin standard. Again, some people don't think we get there. Let's assume we get there uh, because... I don't see this trend of Bitcoin leaving the exchanges slowing down. And I think you've got a really interesting way of thinking about it. I, there's, there's two ways to think about it. The, the really simple TLDR on it is there's 450 coins minted in a day. There's $7 trillion of global trade. You simply divide what's minted, what, what, what the global trade is on a daily basis by whatever's minted to facilitate what the price needs to be in order to facilitate that trade. Now, obviously there's, huge limitations to that thought process. And, you know, fundamentally it's not correct, but it's a, it gets us moving in the right direction that as more and more coins come off exchange, the only coins that are available for consumption when you've got a functioning credit market behind it is, is whatever's minted on the day. And we're seeing sale or buy up two or three times what's minted on a day, on a daily basis, on average more. Uh, and that's just one company. So as this starts rolling and gains gains momentum, the, the thought of that as we move to a Bitcoinized world becomes more of a reality. And it's it's really just a, an adoption curve on the way to get there. So I look at this and think it, it's an extreme example, but it's really important to polarize that opinion. And I'm happy to take the slings and arrows of you know what a foolish thought experiment it is, but it gets us thinking where we're going. And, and this is where in an overly simplistic way, that's that's the valuation that you get to 